This video is a quick overview of the Figma Academy curriculum. The course is broken up into six modules, and within each of these modules, it's gonna be a mixture between practical strategies and techniques that you can use to get the most out of the Figma features. But then also, we'll talk about different mental models that you can use to make a bigger impact on your team. So let's take a quick look so you can get a rundown of what's included. Variables are pretty much a part of everything we do in Figma now, so that's where this curriculum is gonna start, looking at variable and style systems. Each module has a collection of video lessons and then all of the corresponding slides. And then I'm also building a demo project along the way, and you get all of that UI as well, so you can kind of see how the files are put together and how I'm organizing my different variables. We'll walk through the entire process of how to create a color system and specifically how to deal with light and dark mode. This lesson on creating a themable neutrals palette is one of my absolute favorites and it's even more powerful now that variables are a thing and from there we'll get into the strategies on creating a semantic system how you can think about different naming and organization structures we'll also walk through the science of creating an awesome typography system and the nice thing again is you're gonna have all of my examples so you'll get to inspect all of my variables how I've mapped my different primitives to my semantics how I've thought about libraries and things like that from there, we're gonna move into component systems and build an actual UI kit that we can use throughout the course. So we're gonna talk about all of the different strategies for creating icon libraries, how that's impacted by variables. I'll share a technique that I'm really excited about for how we can use variables to level up our UI kits and automate a lot of the responsive logic that we had to do by hand previously. And then we'll get into different techniques for button components. We'll build a full form system from scratch. And again, you're gonna get access to all of the UI that I'm making in these demo files. Module three starts to get into more complex components and auto layouts. And we start with one of the more robust videos where I'm building a full page layout, responsive components, min, max, resizing logic, everything from scratch so you can follow along. And then we'll get into more of the strategy around when to use variables and when to use variants for our responsive components. And then we finish with one of my favorite lessons, which is how to use component properties to design an intuitive consumption experience. From there, we start to look at different workflows that you can use to speed up your design process in Figma. I talk about some of my favorite plug-in combo moves. We look at designing full page layouts with real data. And then I share one of my favorite techniques to help you iterate more quickly in Figma. The prototyping module might be my favorite one because of all the new Figma features. But before we get into the details, I talk a lot about different strategies that can shape how you approach prototyping in Figma, how you make sure that you're creating the right type of prototype for the right use case. We'll look at one of my favorite techniques to avoid a lot of the manual work when we're drawing our prototypes. I'll even teach you how to create micro animations directly in Figma. And then we'll start getting into the really fun stuff when we talk about prototyping with variables. I walk through all of the different ways that it works and I'm pretty proud of taking something that's quite complex and making it simple and repeatable. We'll then start to build out a real life example of prototyping with variables. I have it in two parts worth increasing complexity as we go and by the end of this module you'll have built a full prototype with pretty advanced logic that's gonna be a lot of fun one of the goals of this curriculum is to help you become your engineering team's favorite designer so this final module is all about developer collaboration I walk through all of my strategies for handoff and organizing my files and you can see all of the different ways I think about components and things like that I've even built a handoff library from scratch with all of these components that you can use to annotate your designs, and I'll teach you how to use those. And then we'll start to get into some of the softer skills where I'll walk you through very specific tactics that you can use to collaborate more effectively with developers. Between the lesson videos and all the slides and the demo projects and the bonus resources, there's a lot in this curriculum, and I'm confident that it's gonna help you become a better product designer. I'll catch you in Figma.